In this video, we're going to talk about perpendicular lines, rays, and segments. And we're going to work on some problems as well. So let's call this line L. And let's say that line L is perpendicular to line M. Whenever two perpendicular lines intersect each other, they intersect at right angles. So that is, they intersect at an angle of 90 degrees. Now let's say if line L has a slope of positive 3 over 4. What is the slope of line M? Now if you want to find the slope of a perpendicular line, you need to flip the fraction and change the sign. So it's going to be negative 4 over 3. So perpendicular lines have slopes that are the negative reciprocal of each other. Now, it turns out that lines aren't the only things uh, that can be perpendicular to each other. Segments and rays can be perpendicular to each other. So let's say that's segment AB, and this is segment CD. So if segment AB is perpendicular to segment CD, we can write it like this. AB is perpendicular to CD. So that's the perpendicular symbol, and therefore the angle between these two segments will be 90. Now let's work on a practice problem. Let's say that ray AB is perpendicular to ray AC, where A is the vertex. And let's say we have a picture that looks like this. So this is A, B, and C. And there's another ray that splits angle CAB and let's call it ray AD. Now let's say if angle BAD is equal to 9x plus 14 and if angle CAD is equal to 2x squared plus 8 what is the measure of angle CAD? So feel free to work on this problem. So we're given that AB and AC is, are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, angle CAB, that is this angle here, that's equal to 90 degrees. It's a right angle. Now, angle CAB is the sum of angle BAD and angle CAD. So for instance, let me use a different color. Let's say this is BAD. Let's say it's 40. Or let's choose another number. Let's say 30. And let's say CAD is 60, then CAB has to be the total, which is 90. And so that's why we could say that CAB, the total angle, is the sum of angle BAD plus angle CAD. Now we can replace angle CAB with 90 because that's what it's equal to. BAD, we know it's 9x plus 14, so let's replace it with that. And CAD is 2x squared plus 8. So now we have an algebraic equation. If we could find the value of x, then we could find the measure of angle CAD using this expression. All we got to do is plug the value of x into that expression, 2x squared plus 8, and that'll give us the answer. So first, let's combine like terms. 14 plus 8 is 22. So we got 2x squared plus 9x plus 22. That's equal to 90. And that's in standard form. Now let's subtract both sides by 90. 22 minus 90 is negative 68. So now what we need to do is factor this expression. So I can get rid of this other stuff. So 
So how can we factor 2x squared plus 9x minus 68? Well, the first thing we need to do is multiply the leading coefficient by the constant term. So 2 times negative 68 is negative 136. Now, we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 136, but that add to the middle coefficient of 9. So what are those two numbers? Well, let's find out. Factors of 68 are 34 and 2. So that means 34 goes into 136. And factors of 34 are 17 and 2. So if we make a list, we can start with the lowest number 2. We know 2 times 68 is 136, but these two numbers don't differ by 9. So we could try the next higher number. Now, 3 doesn't go into 136, but 4 does because we have two 2's on the left. So this is going to be 4 times 34. So basically, if you multiply this number by 2, you get 4, and then you have to divide that number by 2 so that the product of 4 and 34 is the same, which is 136. But yet, these two numbers don't differ by 9, so we need to try something higher. We have a total of three twos, so that's going to be 8. And what's left over is 17. 8 times negative 17 is negative 136. Now these two, they differ by negative 9, so we need to reverse the sign and use negative 8 and positive 17. So those two numbers add up to 9. So what I'm going to do is rewrite the expression and replace 9x with negative 8x plus 17x. I've chosen to put the 17 on the right side because 17 goes into 68 and 2 goes into 8. Now the next step is to factor by grouping. So in the first two terms, let's take out the GCF. The GCF is 2x. Now let me rewrite this somewhere else. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. And negative 8x divided by 2x is negative 4. Now in the last two terms, we need to take out the GCF, which is going to be 17. 17x divided by 17 is x, and negative 68 divided by 17 is negative 4. So whenever you need to factor the greatest common factor, you can find the stuff that should go on the inside by division. If you divide what you had before by what you're factoring out, that's going to give you what should be inside. So now we need to factor out the common factor of x minus 4. So if we remove x minus 4 from the first term, we're going to have a 2x left over. And if we factor out x minus 4 from the second term, we have a 17 left over. And it's positive 17. So now to find the value of x, we need to set each factor equal to 0 separately. So x minus 4 is equal to 0, and 2x plus 17 is equal to 0. Now, for the second one, we need to subtract both sides by 17. So 2x is equal to negative 17, and then divide by 2. So x is negative 17 over 2. However, if we take this answer and plug it in to 9x plus 14, that's going to give us a negative angle. So therefore, this solution doesn't make sense. Now let's focus on the other one. If we add 4 to both sides, then we can see that x is equal to 4. So now that we have the value of x, we could find angle CAD, which is the goal of the problem. And we know angle CAD is equal to 2x squared plus 8. So now let's replace x with 4. 4 squared is 16. And 2 times 16 is 32. And so we have 32 plus 8, which is 40. Now, if we want to find angle BAD, we just got to plug in 4 into 9x plus 14. 
So that's 9 times 4 plus 14. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 14 is 50. So you can check your work this way to make sure you have the right answer. As we said, AB and AC were perpendicular rays, so they have to form an angle of 90. And these two angles, they add up to 90. But the answer that we're looking for in this problem was the measure of angle CAD. So the answer is 40 degrees.